Hello teachers we are once again back to learn something new in spoken english and today we are going to deal with the common mistakes that we generally make while speaking and especially the words that often confuse us or we don't even realize that we are speaking a different word that has actually changed the meaning of the whole sentence let us see some examples of this we generally interchange home with house and house with home many new houses have been built we should take care not to say my house his house or your house when you should rather say home a house is any building used for dwelling in and home is the particular house in which one is living home may also denote to one's own country so another example is you should go to your house now now you see that he is pointing to the particular house of the person so here we mean home you should go home now street and road the roads of the town are narrow no this is incorrect the streets of the town are narrow a street is a way in a town or a village with buildings on the sides and a road usually denotes a way leading from one town or village to another so we say which is the street to the village this is wrong here we should use road which is the road to the village okay next example is sto she told me an interesting history this is incorrect A story is an account of events which may or may not be true. History is a systematic record of past events. She told me an interesting story. We study and history. We say we study the story of the Indians. No, we study the history of the Indians. habit and custom telling lies is a very bad habit so teachers telling lies is not a custom this is a habit which an individual can carry a habit belongs to the individual but a custom belongs to the society or a country for example we say the chinese have strange habits no the chinese have strange customs because we are referring to a society or a country cause and reason what is the reason of a sandstorm this is incorrect what is the cause of a sandstorm because a cause is that which produces a result and when it comes to reason we generally say you have a good cause for coming no this is not correct you should always say you have a good reason for coming because a reason is that which explains a result or justifies a result when we often interchange scene with scenery the scene is of a beautiful lake is correct we should never say the scenery is of a beautiful lake scene refers to one particular place while scenery refers to the general appearance when we talk about the general appearance of a place we call it scenery for example the scenery in italy is beautiful another example is center and middle can you find the middle of a table can you find the center of a table which one is correct 
can you find the center of a table is correct because center is a definite point while middle is the space somewhere around the center for example if we say that if we say that he was in the center of the street no this is not correct because we cannot find the exact definite point in the street we always use the word middle he was in the middle of the street then again comes shade and shadow we often interchange shade with shadow and shadow with shade that large tree makes a nice shadow no tree makes shade and not shadow the dog saw his shade in the water no the dog saw his shadow shadow means in hindi we call it padshain shade is a place sheltered from the sun wherever we find shelter from sun or rain we call it shade or when it is shadow is a shade of distinct form it can be of a tree a man a dog etc another comes is customer and client the grocer has plenty of clients no we don't call ourselves client if we go to a shop to buy something we are not the client we are customers that grocer has plenty of customers a person can be a customer at a shop but a client of a lawyer and a bank etc that lawyer has plenty of customers that lawyer has plenty of clients